Welcome, beloved brothers and sisters in Christ. Our beloved brothers and sisters, may this day unfold before you with a radiant and joyous beginning, infused with the divine power that accompanies you every step of the way. As the sun rises, embracing the world in its warm glow, let the dawn of each day be a reflection of the holy grace and benevolence bestowed upon us by Jesus Christ. In a recent holy mass that left the faithful both astounded and apprehensive, an unexpected and alarming event unfolded as our Pope suddenly fainted. It is a tale that speaks of peculiar blood stains, of secrets hidden within the sacred ground, and of a spiritual battle raging unseen but deeply felt. The hushed atmosphere of the sacred gathering was shattered by the surprising incident, prompting immediate concern and action from the congregation. The response of those present, however, would soon become the source of profound shock for everyone in attendance. To ensure that as many people as possible see this video, kindly take a moment to share this video and subscribe to this channel. May this message touch your heart and help to bring you close to the conversion of souls and the conversion of sinners. If you believe so, please type Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you as we embark on this journey together. Witnesses recounted the collective gasp that swept through the assembled crowd as the spiritual leader faltered and collapsed. People rushed to the Pope's aid, their faces reflecting a mix of worry and disbelief. Yet amid the tense moments that followed, an extraordinary occurrence transpired that would defy explanation, a miraculous event unfolding within the very essence of the Pope's being, left onlookers utterly stunned. The priest glanced immediately and saw the waves moving, churning up the sediments at the sea's bottom and forming a cloud of dust beneath the surface. No human eyes have ever seen what I am going to show you, declared the angel. He could see what looked to be a spherical cement slab less than a meter away and about two feet in diameter. As soon as the dust cloud cleared, the closer he looked, the more he saw that the sea floor was covered in several similar plates. The unfolding mystery deepened, leaving those present in a state of shock and profound curiosity. Within the revered walls of the Vatican, a place steeped in reverence, an unsettling occurrence stirred great surprise among its sacred corridors. It commenced when custodians and clergy observed peculiar markings resembling blood stains adorning the floor. This peculiar phenomenon appeared to indicate a concealed location within the sacred precincts, evoking a sense of unease that permeated the atmosphere. As word of this mysterious discovery rapidly spread, a mix of concern and intrigue spurred eager individuals to trace the enigmatic trail of crimson spots, drawing them further into the intricate maze of the Vatican's corridors. Upon reaching the culmination of their pursuit, they encountered a scene of profound astonishment, the presence of our Pope and a priest in a dimly lit chamber. While our Pope was praying, a deep quietness spread among the people. Suddenly, there was a quiet gasp as he stumbled and fell, seemingly overwhelmed by the responsibility of his spiritual duties. Right away, everyone's concern and urgency replaced the solemn feeling of the Mass. Without wasting a moment, a group of people hurried forward, looking worried but determined. They reached out to lift the Pope, showing their strong support for their spiritual leader. The air was heavy with worry as the people gathered around, each person doing their part to help lift the Pope from the floor. Amid the tension, something unexpected happened. As the people worked together to carry the Pope to a safer place, a strange energy filled the air. The Pope, who seemed frail and heavy just moments before, suddenly felt as if something magical was happening. As the people carried our Pope to a more secure spot, a feeling of amazement and wonder spread among them. What was expected to be a heavy burden turned into a surprising blessing, leaving everyone surprised and inspired. It was clear that something miraculous had occurred, turning a scary moment into proof of God's presence. Though outwardly composed, an aura of strangeness enveloped them, heightening the surrounding unfolding events with a solemn yet startled countenance. The Pope extended his hand and reassurance to those assembled, his voice resolute and infused with profound insight, commenced to elucidate the unfolding events. He delved into the depths of an ancient and clandestine site, 
where the eternal struggle between good and evil played out on a spiritual battlefield, revealing that the blood stains held significance beyond mere happenstance. The pontiff unveiled them as symbols of an ongoing spiritual conflict, expounding upon the profound symbolism, portraying them as emblematic of the perpetual fight against the encroaching darkness. In a moment weighted with gravity, he ventured to suggest that the blood might be attributed to the adversary, signifying a cosmic confrontation of unparalleled magnitude within the spiritual realm. As people began to understand this, a sensation of serenity descended upon the group. They realized the magnitude of this revelation, the Pope and the priests seen as special messengers in this great battle, urged everyone to intensify their prayers to protect the Church and ensure the victory of good over evil. The Pope also received the message of Mary, and this message will be shared with all of you, I give you my being as a mother, which I got at the foot of the cross. My darling children, I give you my love and my son as blessings. A unique occasion during this holy week where my divine son challenges Peter and Judas in many settings. Everyone is given a severe warning, use extreme caution, as the month of March is supposed to bring with it a certain type of gloom. This time, according to the V, will descend upon a great deal of the planet. The caution highlights how crucial it is to get ready for a day when shadows, both literal and metaphorical, might stretch over the globe. This message encourages people to strengthen their inner strength and spiritual defenses as a strong light from within to pierce the approaching darkness. Next month is seen as a time when everyone in the world must prepare for the challenges that this symbolic darkness can bring. It is a call for everyone to come together, be united, and be prepared. My Divine Son asked for forgiveness for those who crucified Him. Forgiveness blesses them and you. They must forgive without waiting to be asked for forgiveness. I love them. I bless them. And I protect them. That comes to the end of the message, dear brothers and sisters. In John 8 verse 12, it says, When Jesus spoke again to the people, he said, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness but will have the light of life. In this verse, Jesus metaphorically refers to himself as the light of the world, meaning he guides truth and salvation. The image suggests that those who follow Jesus will be led out of spiritual darkness and into the light of life, emphasizing the transformative power of faith and devotion to Christ. We must also recognize the reality of spiritual warfare as depicted in the mysterious events unfolding in the heart of the Vatican. Just as the blood stains discovered therein symbolized the ongoing battle between good and evil, so too are we engaged in a cosmic struggle for the souls of humanity. In times of uncertainty and confusion, we are called to stand firm in our faith, trusting in the victory of Christ over the forces of darkness. As we prepare to enter into the sacred season of Lent, let us heed the warning shared with us by the Blessed Virgin Mary. Let us be vigilant in our spiritual disciplines, knowing that a time of testing and trial may lie ahead. Let us turn to the cross of Christ, where forgiveness and redemption are freely offered to all who repent and believe. Let us carry with us the light of Christ, shining brightly within our hearts. Let us go forth as beacons of hope in a world longing for the promise of salvation. And may the words of our Lord Jesus Christ echo in our ears and guide our steps along the path of righteousness, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness but will have the light of life. Amen.